Breaking the Silence of Teen Depression Depression is real and according to studies, as many as 20% of American teenagers, yes, experience depression by the age of 18. Before they turn 18, they have experienced depression. Hello, I'm Kwame Frempon. I am a marriage and a family therapist. And I make mental health education and relationship improvement videos. Please, to take advantage of our weekly videos, click subscribe. Today, I'm talking about how stigma prevent teenagers from getting help. But with psychotherapy, coaching, and sometimes medication, they can get through it. It happens all the time. It's possible and it works all the time. According to Dr. Leung, the general perception of teenagers, however, is that mental health problems are for people who have severe psychotic episodes or other extreme conditions. Therefore, whenever teens are dealing with depression, some of them, they would rather keep it secret. Stigma has been identified by experts as the single number one leading cause of treatment avoidance. Stigma simply means societal attitudes that makes people who have mental health problems feel very uncomfortable. In fact, researchers have identified two types of stigma. Number one is societal stigma is characterized by the attitudes and discriminating behavior directed toward individuals who have mental health problems as a result of the psychiatric label they have been given. Number two, perceived stigma is the individual own internalizing ways of thinking that people have negative view about them. And perceived stigma can significantly affect feelings of shame and it leads to poorer treatment outcomes. So here are five things that can be done to prevent teens from not talking about mental illness. Number one, the feelings of shame. They feel that maybe something is wrong with them, so they will keep it quiet or silent. Number two, they feel that they will be misunderstood or they will be labeled by people or friends. Number three, they think that consulting professionals for help on personal issues is a sign of weakness. And adolescents are trying to establish autonomy. They're trying to solve their own problems. So they don't want to be regarded or perceived as weak. Number four, the fear of being prescribed with antidepressant medication. So here's what parents can do. Parents, they just listen to, to, to them let them feel heard and understood and encourage them to seek for professional assistance for there's nothing to be ashamed of thank you so much for watching